It's called El Tigre, the Jaguar, the most powerful jungle cat in the Americas. It stalks the secret breaches of the rainforest. A jungle master so well camouflaged that only the occasional paw prints reveal its presence. In order to film the elusive jaguar, nature went to the steamy jungles of Belize in Central America. There are some 2,000 jaguars living in those rainforests. But even in Belize, it's all but impossible to film these great cats in the wild. The only way we could accurately portray the jaguar's secret lifestyle was by using specially constructed sets spread out over 100 acres of jungle. The result, one of the most complete, compelling, and intimate portraits of North America's biggest cat ever recorded on film. Empires that would rule forever lie buried beneath the land. The glory of the Mayans, gone. The Olmecs, the Toltecs, the Aztecs. Now, fragments of history. But there was a time before our kind laid claim to the Americas. A time when the great spotted cat lived unfettered, uncontested, unoppressed. Through the drifting mist, the jaguar makes his morning rounds. Unseen eyes sense he isn't hungry yet. The iguana cautious. A howler monkey warns his troop. Prepared to flee, the Matmat calculates. Even for the never hunted, caution is the surest way to stay alive. Awareness of every movement, every sound, every scent. In the tropics, subtle change betrays the passage of time. During the dry season, when it may not rain for days, the rivers run low. But life in the jaguar's world follows a flow uninterrupted by the change of seasons. High above the dimness of the forest floor in the sun-drenched canopy, a community awakens, 
to the clamor of a toucan. Six-inch wings begin to unfurl. Newly reversioned, a morpho butterfly. the female. They made it just a month ago. Now there's only avoidance. Like the urge he felt when he picked up the female scent, a thirst now claws at his throat. By mid-morning, after hunting all night, the jaguar is ready to rest. As the top predator here, the cat does not have to sleep concealed or with one eye open. But insects keep up a steady assault.
peccaries. A stately procession of wild pigs seeking the relief of water and the pleasures of mud. The year has been uncommonly dry, drawing together the thirsty. The jaguar, like most hunters, fails more often than he succeeds. In the tropics, opportunities are never very far away. The turtle's bite neither discourages the jaguar nor arouses his anger. He concentrates, eyes, paws, searching, hunting in murky water by touch. Capture is only half the battle. The turtle lives in a fortress few can penetrate. The jaguar's crushing jaws, the most powerful among the cats, shatter the turtle's defense. The jaguar visits his favorite stump to clean his claws and to post his presence.
cat nails scrape the rock-hard wood already scarred by others. Scent glands in his cheeks leave his signature and stake his claim. By marking trees, he hopes to skirt a confrontation with another male. For in the tropics, even a minor wound can lead to a tortured death. The rainforest provides many ways to die from a sudden demise to the drawn-out triumph of infection. In the heavy heat of afternoon, the drowsy in-between of thought and dream clouds the senses. Who knows of what a jaguar may dream? A coati learns when it's still young to forage while the cat is napping. Swift and agile paws brush away the stinging hairs that discourage others from devouring the tarantula. Jaguar is a stalker. To capture prey, he normally relies upon surprise and a sneak attack. In a chase, he's at a disadvantage.
Each knows who has the upper hand. Paws this size cannot negotiate the narrow branches that offer the coati refuge. Before the heavy rains, the female oropendula turns architect, constructing a nest that follows a genetic blueprint. While she labors, suitors serenade her and advertise their assets. They kowtow, they burble, for the reward of passing on their genes. In this tropical nursery, trees have strategies of their own. Some flower before they leaf to ensure that their pollen-rich blossoms are conspicuous. The consumers they lure unknowingly collect and then transport the dust that is the agent of new life. Songbirds, like the honey creepers, help coral trees follow a similar scheme. Aztec parakeets flip each flower open, uncovering a trove of pollen. The howler feeds as if he's in a hurry, as if the flowers of the Curacao comb might suddenly vanish. But there will be time for the blossoms and the fruit before the onslaught of the rains. The coati is alert, even while mysteriously it rubs its tail with blossoms that have fallen from the sky. The coral snake with flashy rings and fatal poison for protection. A quick coati can kill a snake before it strikes when food is on its mind. the female jaguar. She's hungry and she's pregnant.
Now she settles for small and easy prey. Armadillo, a staple of the jaguar's diet. But just one armadillo will not sustain her for long. In the forest, food distribution often follows a vertical path. Fruit is abundant, but the supply can be outweighed by the heavy demand below. The curassows claim privilege. Within their clan, the cranky jungle fowl have their own pecking order. The lure of sweet mame. It attracts the blue crowned matmats and the curassows. Even a shy agouti dares to feed. At their own stately pace, the peccaries approach to claim their share. The Mame feast continues. Waiting to make another run, the Agouti watches. Other eyes also watch and measure opportunity.
A life passes. A season passes. And a time of change sweeps across the Jaguar's world. In a limestone cave, he will wait out the storm. The wild air sows the seeds of change. Life that waits to be will be awakened by the rain. It will rain abundantly, intensely, every day for nearly half the year. But the deluge does let up, often in the morning or at night, allowing time for basic needs. As the season wanes, the rain no longer rules, though its legacy remains. Nature's potent formula of moisture, sun, and decay nourishes each secret crevice of the rainforest. Like magic, mushrooms spring from improbable places.
The storm has passed. The jaguar's first urge is to eat. Now he feeds on leaves, a remedy to clear the hairs left in his gut by grooming. In the fading light, another cat stalks its prey. A hungry ocelot, eager for a meal, but careful to avoid its powerful competitor. Both felines will hunt into the night. The jaguar is at ease in the dark. Its eyes adjust well. But not every hunter depends on sight. The eyelash viper sees poorly at night. It weighs its options to flee or to strike by testing the air with its tongue. Sometimes size takes second place to sheer determination. If push finally comes to shove, a smaller bat is wise to give way. Margay's eyes penetrate the night. Antenna ears hear what eyes cannot detect. The margay moves on dainty cat feet, but gives itself away.
The deed is done, and eyed with envy. In the wake of the rains, the tree frogs gather for bouts of communal coupling. The underlying urge to secure a role in the future. The business of catching a fish cannot afford distractions. It demands concentration, strategy, and a bit of luck. Fishing by eye and fishing by touch. A flick of the paw sprinkles the moonlight. A technique or a ritual? It remains unexplained. Things seem tamer now, since the fury of the rains has been tempered by the sun. Beneath the canopy, new life, renewed vitality. Many residents of the rainforest now must face the added pressures of new responsibilities.
Among the newest batch of forest dwellers, two natural-born killers, vicious predators of insatiable appetite and cunning expertise. Following in their mother's footsteps, the jaguar cubs will climb to the top of the food chain. For the next two years, she will be their sole link to survival, teaching them all she can. And she will give them time to explore through play, to discover, to test their world. As two paths cross, two lives cross, and for a moment, two jaguars connect. The future and the past. But he continues alone. The flow of life moves on. Young as a stream after the rain, old as the course that it follows. To learn more about what you've seen on this nature program, visit PBS online at www.pbs.org. This is PBS. In the heavy heat of afternoon, the drowsy in-between of thought and dream clouds the senses.
Who knows of what a jaguar may dream? A coati learns when it's still young to forage while the cat is napping. Swift and agile paws brush away the stinging hairs that discourage others from devouring the tarantula. Like the urge he felt when he picked up the female scent, a thirst now claws at his throat. By mid-morning, after hunting all night, the jaguar is ready to rest. As the top predator here, the cat does not have to sleep concealed or with one eye open. But insects keep up a steady assault.
peccaries, a stately procession of wild pigs seeking the relief of water and the pleasures of mud. The year has been uncommonly dry, drawing together the thirst. Each knows who has the upper hand. Paws this size cannot negotiate the narrow branches that offer the Coati refuge. Before the heavy rains, the female oropendula turns architect, constructing a nest that follows a genetic blueprint. While she labors, suitors serenade her and advertise their assets. They kowtow, they burble, for the reward of passing on their genes. In this tropical nursery, trees have strategies of their own. Some flower before they leaf to ensure that their pollen-rich blossoms are conspicuous. The consumers they lure unknowingly collect and then transport the dust that is the agent of new life. Songbirds, like the honey creepers, help coral trees follow a similar scheme. Aztec parakeets flip each flower open, uncovering a trove of pollen. Awareness of every movement, every sound, every scent. In the tropics, subtle change betrays the passage of time. During the dry season, when it may not rain for days, the rivers run low. But life in the jaguar's world follows a flow uninterrupted by the change of seasons. High above the dimness of the forest floor in the sun-drenched canopy, a community awakens to the clamor of a toucan.
six-inch wings begin to unfurl. Newly reversioned, a morpho butterfly. As two paths cross, two lives cross, and for a moment, two jaguars connect. The future and the past. But he continues alone. The flow of life moves on. Young as a stream after the rain, old as the course that it follows. To learn more about what you've seen on this nature program, visit PBS online at www.pbs.org. The deed is done, and eyed with envy. In the wake of the rains, the tree frogs gather for bouts of communal coupling. The underlying urge to secure a role in the future.
The business of catching a fish cannot afford distractions. It demands concentration, strategy, and a bit of luck. Fishing by eye and fishing by touch. A flick of the paw sprinkles the moonlight. A technique or a ritual? It remains unexplained. Peccaries, a stately procession of wild pigs seeking the relief of water and the pleasures of mud. The year has been uncommonly dry, drawing together the thirsty. The jaguar, like most hunters, fails more often than he succeeds. In the tropics, opportunities are never very far away. The turtle's bite neither discourages the jaguar nor arouses his anger. He concentrates, eyes pause. In this tropical nursery, trees have strategies of their own. Some flower before they leaf to ensure that their pollen-rich blossoms are conspicuous. The consumers they lure unknowingly collect and then transport the dust that is the agent of new life. Songbirds, like the honey creepers, help coral trees follow a similar scheme. Aztec parakeets flip each flower open 
uncovering a trove of pollen. The howler feeds as if he's in a hurry, as if the flowers of the curacao comb might suddenly vanish. But there will be time for the blossoms and the fruit before the onslaught of the rains. The kuati is alert, even while mysteriously it rubs its tail with blossoms that have fallen from the sky. The coral snake with flashy rings and fatal poison for protection. A life passes, a season passes, and a time of change sweeps across the jaguar's world.
commands his troops. Prepared to flee, the Mutmut calculates. Even for the never hunted, caution is the surest way to stay alive. Awareness of every movement, every sound, every scent. In the tropics, subtle change betrays the passage of time. During the dry season, when it may not rain for days, the rivers run low. But life in the jaguar's world follows a flow uninterrupted by the change of seasons. High above the dimness of the forest floor in the sun-drenched canopy, a community awakens to the clamor of a toucan. Six-inch wings begin to unfurl. Newly reversioned, a morpho butterfly. Days, the rivers run low. But life in the jaguar's world follows a flow uninterrupted by the change of seasons. High above the dimness of the forest floor in the sun-drenched canopy, a community awakens to the clamor of a toucan. Six-inch wings begin to unfurl. Newly reversioned, a morpho butterfly.
the female. They made it just a month ago. The Mame feast continues. Waiting to make another run, the agouti watches. Other eyes also watch and measure opportunity.